When defending, you can barricade door and window frames to slow down attackers and cut off the line of sight. You have an unlimited number of barricades and can barricade as much as you want to secure your position. Barricades have limited durability. A single melee hit from an attacker is enough to break through. Three melee hits and they'll collapse completely. Barricades can also be destroyed by gunfire. Some firearms are more effective than others. For instance, a shotgun is likely to be more efficient than a pistol. So here's a good example of how the barricades can be shot through and you can even get kills through them, thus making them concealment and not cover. So just be careful when you're moving around on barricades, you can get shot through them. Breach charges can easily break through a barricade. Deploy the breach charge, step aside, and trigger it remotely to take out the barricade. Residual smoke and debris will provide some cover as you utilize the new line of sight. Here's an example of covering while breaching. Busting a hole, checking, having the breach go up, and then having them blow it. Floors can be partially broken and shot. For instance, wooden and vinyl floors can be partially destroyed while concrete and marble. Fl floors are only breathable through the. By de detonating a breach charge on the trap door, you can create a passageway to the floor below. Defenders can deploy reinforcements on the trap doors to prevent breaching from the floor above you. Wall properties depend on their material. For instance, drywall or wood walls are destructible. But concrete and metallic walls are not. Full power when deployed on their primary target, wall. Many walls can be breached. Some of the destructible. And here is an example of extreme wall frustration. In the same way walls can be destroyed, you can also be killed through them at weird angles. Multiple walls can't be entirely demolished as they are built on metallic frames. Breaking them creates new lines of sight, but they can't be breached. Defenders can protect some of their walls with reinforcements. Attackers can recognize reinforced walls by the anchors used to hold the reinforcement in place. Choose wisely. Unlike barricades, reinforcements are limited to two per defender. But as always, go ahead and like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more excerpts show.